a world that doesn't exist. 80% of the workforce force in these fast food places, 80% are people of color. Two thirds, two thirds are women. The majority are breadwinners. And we have the opportunity to reward that contribution, reward that sacrifice. This video is sponsored by our Patreon members. If you'd like to support our channel, you can join our Patreon. Link in the description below. In January, California's minimum wage will rise from $15.50 an hour to $16. Then in April, fast food workers will get another increase. People should be getting paid a fair wage, um, especially because uh, the costs of living in San Diego are so high. San Diegans we spoke with tonight say higher wages are vital to keep up with rising costs. The wages should also increase with time uh, due to inflation. Starting January 1st, Californians making minimum wage will begin earning $16 an hour. Fast food employees will see their hourly pay jump to $20 in April. It's a change that's beneficial for workers, but economists say will also impact the employer. Well, more than a thousand Pizza Hut delivery Delivery drivers will soon be out of a job here in Southern California. The move comes just months before new state law dramatically raises wages for fast food workers across the state. Here's Joy Benedict. News of these layoffs is certainly catching many customers off guard here at this location in North Hollywood. They are losing all four of their delivery drivers effective in just a couple of weeks. They've been making it great for 65 years, but some loyal customers say these new cuts are leaving them with a bad taste. Now we have to be our own delivery driver. Hi guys, welcome to Money Theory. In today's video, we're going to talk about minimum wage, also known as a price floor. So our most important diagram in our channel is the supply and demand curve. The red line in this diagram is supply, and it goes upwards. The downward line is demand and it goes downward and then you can see where they cross it's called the equilibrium point you can see the axis q for quantity and price is the vertical axis here so on the supply curve there are less people willing to sell at this price whereas there's more people willing to sell at this price which makes sense when you're a supplier you want to sell at the higher price and then demand is the opposite. Demand's going downwards. So there are less people willing to buy at this higher price, and there's higher people willing to buy at the lower price. And that makes sense, because as a buyer, you want the price to be low, and when you're the seller, you want the price to be higher. But there's an equilibrium point where quantity of suppliers equal the quantity of demand, and the price of both the supply and demand equal. Now in the next slide, we can see that there's a price floor and a price ceiling. From looking at this, you might see that doesn't make sense because the floor should be at the bottom and the ceiling should be at the top. But we'll explain further. For the floor, that means that the price cannot go below it. You see this area below the line is blocked out. And then the supply going up here is, over, is uh, not intercepting with the demand line going here. And the opposite happens with the price ceiling. With the ceiling, the price cannot go higher. The demand line going here is not intercepting with the supply line going here. So you can see that there is a gap in the quantity between them. So in the case of a minimum wage, this is a price floor. And we remove the blocks that you can see in more detail. So the supply, in this case, the supply of workers. And the demand is the demand for workers, in this case, jobs. So as you can see, everything below that is blocked out. And we must have a minimum wage right here. So we have a lot of workers who want that, but not a lot of jobs willing to pay that. And thus there's a gap. So Khan Academy explains this really well. The consequence is the price floor prevents a price from falling below a certain level. When a price floor is set above an equilibrium price, the quantity supplied will exceed the quantity demanded, and the excess supply or surpluses, in this case, of workers will result. And in summary, that means that minimum wage leads to job cuts. So in summary, we have to understand the economic principles, and these are very simple, how all these current events and new laws can affect us. 
And if we are in public service and we can write the laws, we can use these very simple principles to benefit our community instead of hurt the community. And as we can see from the news in Pizza Hut, the raising of the minimum wage just leads to job cuts. People may think that raising the wages can help with inflation so that they can pay for their goods, but they can't pay for goods if they don't have a job. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed our video. If you'd like to support our channel, you can join our Patreon or buy me a coffee. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We also completed our financial coaching and business consulting website. Please check it out at moneytheory.net.